first on four, a Facebook page showcasing a number of student fights at a Raymondville Middle School, and it's giving parents major concerns tonight. Action Force Nora Salinas joins us live with the details on this page. Nora. Marcy, parents with children that attend Myra Green Middle School tell me they are just shocked that a page like this would even be made. Now a lot of them are asking for action from the school district, fearing for the safety of their kids. It's a Facebook page called Raymondville Middle School Fights, classified as just for fun. The page, which was posted late Wednesday night, shows multiple student fights recorded on cell phones, and it's getting a lot of attention from hundreds of people. When these kids are hitting each other, it's it's not right. You know, somebody's going to get seriously hurt. It's pathetic. It's sad. And when I saw that at 3 o'clock in the morning, a friend of mine texted me and told me to look at it. And she goes, it's your son. I was, I broke down in tears. Brenda Lee Hernandez says her seventh grade son was recorded playing a punching game during school hours. But she didn't know about it until she logged on on Facebook. I know my son's not innocent. I'm not going to say he's an angel. He's not. I'm not. I'm not going to say he is. But... They're videotaping this. They know about that. Notify the parents. This is going on. This is happening. We need help with the kids because we can't deal with them ourselves. Action 4 News reached out to the superintendent of Raymondville ISD. He was unavailable to go on camera, but did provide a statement saying in part, precautions including additional school police have been assigned to the campus along with the acquisition and installation of additional cameras in order to ensure the safety of our students. None of these events are representative of the fine students who attend our schools, nor is it a representation of residents of the Raymondville community. One parent says she wants more done by administrators to prevent the violence. These are just some of the fights, people. You guys can imagine what is not being documented and what they're not talking about. And I, I just hope that somebody does the right thing about it instead of just saying that they're going to address it. While another says he believes the problem should be fixed by more than just school staff. It goes beyond them as well. I think it, it involves all the parents. I think as a community we need to just bring forth together and try to resolve this issue because it's really out of control at this point. We also reached out to the Raymondville ISD police chief. He says all cases involving fights have been resolved by the school district and cases have been directed to the district attorney's office. Some students may be facing further charges. Live in the studio, Nora Salinas, Action 4 News. All right, taking action in Raymondville tonight. Thanks, Nora.